we see that President Vladimir Putin is going to start his state visit to China. And do you want to uh, make a prediction about the outcome of this visit and also the future about the China-Russia relations? Uh, Michal, welcome to Moscow. I think that in diplomacy, uh, there are many things that have symbolic meaning. Uh, and uh, this time, uh, that will be the first uh, foreign visit of uh, uh, Mr. Putin after in a, inauguration and his uh, election. Not always the, the visit of the head of the state to the other head of the state uh, is called state visits. So there is something more. There is the, uh, behind this uh, will to visit first Beijing, the will of creation of multipolar worlds. China is without any doubt, not just the part of global uh, Western capitalist, liberal, economical and political system. China is already out of the system. China participated with it. China uh, is connected with this, but it is totally independent of totally in sovereign uh, civilization state. So that there is no question, no doubt ab about China representing such sovereign pole and pillar of multipolar world order. The other pillar is Russia, without any doubt. Thanks to this communication and cooperation be between two poles, two pillars, the other civilization state want to join multipolar club as the India, as Islamic world, as Africa, as Latin America. That doesn't mean that we are constructing, we are building alliance against someone. No. If the West accepts multipolarity, he can participate in construction of this multipolar world in a full right. But if the West will continue to oppose at any price to an emergency of this uh, multipolarity, we will be obliged to, to fight against that, not against the West, but against hegemony and pretension to, con to save at any price this falling apart unipolar world order. We have seen it. We have seen already many times when the West declares something that is rule, or they presume, they presume that there is some rule or rules, rules based world order. But when it comes to contradiction with their uh, with their interests, they ch simply change that. They have invited China in a full open global uh, market. But when China has has uh, gained uh, a kind of leadership in that. They started to, to, to impose some protectionist measures against the growth of China. So they, they are just changing the rules because they are their rules. So my next question will come to the, uh, how could Russia overcome all those difficulties and challenges that it has experienced in past two years before? Because we see that a series of sanctions have been launched by the Western world. And, uh, but last year, we see that according to the data released by the Russian government, the Russia has realized about 3.6% economic growth. Uh, so how did uh, Russia overcome all those challenges and realize development? In order to answer your question, we need to make a kind of um, uh, small and short research in the different versions of participation in the globalization process. So you Chinese, you have very special experience in that. So you have entered as more or less poor mm. uh, country, uh, uh, delayed in the, its development. After the um, reforms, you have managed to use the participation in globalization at the favor, to the favor of the China. Russian experience of participation in the globalization was quite different. First of all, we have lost honor. We have lost 
our geopolitical system. We have accepted Western values, Western system, Western type of constitution, and we have lost Soviet Union. And we have lost our industry, our economy, our financial system. We have lost everything during the 90s. So that are two experiences. Globalization, China's style. It is in at the flavor and the growth of independence and sovereignty of China. That is, and Putin, uh, when he came to power, he started to restore the sovereignty of Russia. Sovereignty was put in the center of his politics. And when we were cut from the globalist, uh, globalist Western uh, economy, we did not lose anything, but we have gained because we were obliged to develop our own uh, inner possibility to find the way to, uh, to, to construct um, a lost uh, industry, national industry. At the same time, we uh, were not uh, is isolated after that, but we have rediscovered that there is, the world is not the only the West. There is such huge partner as China. We have discovered what is the Islamic world, who is willing to cooperate with us. And India. India is willing to cooperate having Russian oil and gas. So we have discovered the other replacement for the West and Africa and Latin America. So we have, we have lost the West, but we have discovered the rest, the huge humanity, the big humanity, the, uh, the, the East uh, Africa, the global South. I remember that Professor Samuel said that Russia was isolated by the West, but the West has been isolated by the rest. Uh, you, uh, your quotes just uh, remind me about uh, Professor Tsar's uh, ideas. We see that uh, you have opened your social media accounts in China, uh, such as uh, on the Sina Weibo and also Bilibili Takan, and many, many uh, Chinese web users are following uh, you or they are going to chain. What are you going to say? Uh, to the Chinese audience, to the Chinese public. Can you tell me uh, why you have such kind of uh, intention or interest to do that? So first of all, I, I have great respect for uh, modern China and for traditional China. I have uh, written the book uh, dedicated totally to Chinese civilization from the beginning to the modern, modern time. I, I, I now sing a glory of China's, uh, China's spirit, China's culture, China's philosophy. And uh, that is a um, book of uh, China lover and admirer. So, uh, and that is in general. Now I consider that we need to elaborate more the philosophical basis of China, uh, Russian, French. We need to understand each other better. To, to know better our societies, cultures, civilizations, traditional values, they are very different. In order to promote the full-scale deep dialogue between two civilizations, uh, I, I have decided to open a you know, social, uh, social network in, in China and to, 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 to pro propose to Chinese public open and very, very democratic discussion. It is, I'm just expressing my opinion on uh, what is going on in Russia, what is going on at the global level, how Russians we consider importance of China, and what principles should be put in the fundament, the base of our future relation. And after that, that huge wave of the base ball. That was for me amazing. So I, I, I astonished. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect, but I remarked that there was a kind of attack. Different persons started to use uh, some fragments of my previous opinion of nine when we lived in totally different conditions. And uh, I considered in, in the 90s uh, that mm, China entering in globalization 
is losing its sovereignty in is going to to betray its uh, uh, traditional values in favor of global capitalism betraying as well socialist and communist uh, I, I, and then you change your opinion because China is changed, and the, chi the change of China has surprised you that you didn't expect that. And then you become uh, friendly and you support China and Russia friendship again. Is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But that's uh, the, uh, the change was 25 years ago. Uh, that is not new change. Finally. I have changed my opinion after visiting China. Uh, um, uh, I was invited by Tang Weiwei, and I'm a member of uh, uh, of um, advisors of yes. um, sitting fund, uh, City Foundation. Yes. So uh, I uh, I have discovered so many Chinese intellectuals. I have met them. I I had serious and very fruitful discussions with them. So. And now I have totally different opinion, not only theoretically positive, but I am involved in the intellectual life yes. of Chinese academic uh, society. And more I know China, mm -hmm. more I admire China. 